Alvin Kamara is known to be one of the most notable and prominent running backs in today's NFL. When you first think about his career in the league, you think about all of the success that he has achieved by becoming one of the NFL's best pass catchers and repeatedly making moves for his team to reach the end zone. Now it's safe to say that he is one of the game's best talents at his position. However, Alvin Kamara ruined his NFL career after he was arrested for a brawl during the NFL Pro Bowl. Now this is the story of Alvin Kamara. If you were ever a fan of Kamara, leave a quick like on the video. I'm curious how many fans are watching today. Alvin Kamara was born on July 25th, 1995. He grew up in Norcross, Georgia, and throughout his time growing up and playing high school football, it was very clear he had a special talent on the field. After having a very successful NCAA career with the University of Tennessee, Alvin Kamara was selected with the 67th overall pick in the 2017 draft by the New Orleans Saints. And ever since he's been drafted, he's been a complete star level of talent for his team. Whether it be sitting in the backfield and making a run up the middle for a very large gain, or even being a bailout option to throw towards. Alvin Kamara has always been there for his quarterback, and he's always had an incredible catching ability, which makes him so versatile on the field. The Saints noticed the generational talent that Kamara brought in his first three years in the NFL, so they made sure to get him paid. Alvin Kamara was extended to a major deal valued at five years, 75 $5 million, including $33 million in guaranteed money, which made him one of the highest paid running backs in history. It's just so that he is capable of doing so much on the field, and anything he's required to do at his position, he makes sure to do it. Now, Alvin Kamara had posted a ridiculous average of over 1,500 yards a season, with 67 touchdowns across his five years in the league. He's even got a list of very impressive accomplishments, from being named Rookie of the Year in 2017, earning a Pro Bowl status in all five seasons, and even becoming a two-time second-team All-Pro. And Alvin Kamara even tied the record for most rushing touchdowns in a single game in NFL history, reaching the end zone six times against the Minnesota Vikings in 2020. Now you may be wondering, with Alvin Kamara having all of these crazy statistics, being one of the highest paid, and being one of the most skilled running backs in the NFL, how did he ruin his career? Now this brings us into the story of what happened on the night of February 5th in downtown Town Las Vegas. Now, just like every year in his NFL career up to this point, Camaro was selected for the NFL Pro Bowl, and this year's Pro Bowl was taking place in Las Vegas. Now, with Vegas being known as one of the best cities to party in, Alvin Camara decided to spend the Saturday night out, out in the city before the Pro Bowl the next day. Alvin Camara, with a group of friends, arrived to the Cromwell Club in the afternoon, where he was very excited to have a day off and enjoy out being with his friends. However, his time at the club would definitely not go as expected. After a long day of being at the club and partying, Alvin Kamara was preparing to exit the club as he waited by the elevators with his group of friends. This is when a man by the name of Darnell Green was also heading to the elevators to exit the Cromwell. Now once Darnell Green was waiting beside Kamara and his group, he began a conversation with them. However, things began getting heated between the man and Kamara's group. It hasn't been released to the public on exactly why things started to turn physical during the conversation, but Alvin Kamara alleges that Green began calling his friends names and saying rude things. This made Alvin Kamara and his boys began going after him. Now keep in mind, this is only alleged from Kamara's side of the story, but this is when the brawl actually does start happening, and things got bad very quickly for Darnell. So let's hear his side of things on how it happened. Now after the incident happened, Green got badly injured. He spoke to law enforcement to recollect what happened at the Cromwell. Detectives released the information from the interview to the public afterwards, and it was reported that he says, Green states that he was on his way leaving the club for the rest of the night. He was making his way to the elevator, and there was a group of people waiting as he started a conversation with one of the men. As soon as the elevator door opened, Green and the group that he was speaking with began walking towards the opened elevator door. One male in the group, who was later identified to be famous running back Alvin Kamara, put his hand on Green's chest stopping him from walking.
walking into the elevator. Green then pushed Alvin Kamara's hand off of his chest to allow himself in. Green stated that after he took his hand off, this is when he was pushed very hard by the entire group, causing him to stumble backwards and began getting hit by multiple people. He then lost consciousness on the club floor. The only description of the suspect that he could remember was described as being a male in his 20s, approximately 5 foot 10, muscular, and had either dreadlocks or braided hair. The suspect was either wearing a gray shirt or a gray sweater as well. Now once the entire brawl was done and over with, the police began investigating by heading to the Cromwell to review the security footage. Now it did prove to be incredibly helpful and with Kamara being a very famous public figure, he was one of the first of the four suspects to be identified in the video. Unfortunately, we can't provide any pictures of Kamara in the surveillance video due to that not being released to the public yet. But law enforcement officials state that Kamara had allegedly hit Darnell Green a total of eight times. That is clearly seen in the video with one of them purposely being after Green when he was already unconscious on the floor. One investigators recognized Kamara in the video. They followed him then on the security cameras until he left the Cromwell that night. It was then discovered that him and his group were picked up in a limousine and they ended up questioning the driver of the car after getting the license plate from the security footage on the outside of the club. Now he states that he took Kamara and his friends to the Videra Hotel in Las Vegas, where they then presumed stayed for the night. And with the detectives obviously knowing who Alvin Kamara was, they knew that he would be showing up to the NFL Pro Bowl the next day, which is where they set up a trap to arrest him. Now in the morning of February 6th, Alvin Kamara woke up and got prepared for his game at the NFL Pro Bowl. He showed up to the stadium like nothing even happened. Now rather than law enforcement arresting him before the game, they actually decided to allow him to play in the game. It would cause less of a distraction and wouldn't ruin the game for many people around the world. So they contacted the NFL security team to let them know about the situation and that's when Roger Goodell actually spoke with law enforcement. Roger then posted his statement online saying, Our security team was contacted by the police in Las Vegas just prior to the game saying they would like to meet with Alvin Kamara after the game. Now our team made sure that that happened so our security team did what they were asked to accommodate them. Now once the game wrapped up, that's when the police then began speaking to Kamara, asking him about the night prior to which Kamara tried to say that Green started the brawl and went after one of his friends. So in retaliation, Kamara only went back after him and that's when he tried running away. However, law enforcement shut this down quickly by stating, the video disputes this. The man was not running away, but had in fact just been hit by Kamara's associate and then Kamara immediately went after him. They then took Kamara into custody where he was then sat at the Clark County Detention Center throughout the night until the morning of February 7th where he then posted his $5,000 bond and got a court date set in March. Unfortunately, his court case is still ongoing and he has had two court dates being March 8th and April 25th but both of them have been delayed and it stands currently that his next scheduled court date is for August 1st. Now although the consequences could be massive for Alvin Kamara if he doesn't accept the plea deal before he heads to trial as he currently faces the felony charge of a physical altercation resulting in substantial bodily injuries. And in the state of Nevada, the repercussions for this charge carries a possible prison sentence of one to five years in a mandatory $10,000 fine. And even if Kamara is lucky to have his charge drop to only a misdemeanor of conspiracy of causing injuries, then it can still carry a prison sentence of upwards to a year and two grand in fines. Like the damage that was done to Darnell Green in this case, that was also very bad, as it was reported by law enforcement saying, Green sustained an orbital fracture on his right eye. He was told there's a chance that he may need surgery. His eye has been so swollen so much that he can't even open it, and the lower orbital bone is what helps support the eye to stay in place. So with a fracture of this sort, it can limit movement of the eye, cause double vision, and other possible vision issues throughout his life. Now like this event, it could have literally changed Green's eye for the rest of his life, the same way that it's going to affect Alvin Kamara's whole entire NFL career. Now, even if Kamara is lucky enough to escape prison, he will also have to have some sort of discipline from the NFL, being a suspension, or even just an entire ban from the league for one to three years. But Alvin Kamara has seriously ruined his NFL career from this incident. This could have easily been avoided, and if you believe that too, leave a like on the video, 
and don't forget to subscribe if you're new.